So this is the most expensive thing I've ever bought besides a car. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have tried to put Brave we've tried to put Braven's TPS in here. Um, and I just calibrated it and it doesn't seem to be making a difference. What we're doing is swapping out to Braven's ECU. He has an S300 as well. I haven't there. told my channel about it yet. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he, he bought a, an S300 as well for creamy. We're gonna put that in here and I'm just gonna upload like a, a stock base map on it, you know, like for a Type R or something. And then um, try it, see if it makes any kind of difference. Maybe an output on the ECU or wiring, that'd be freaking great for the TPS. Hear that or we, both of our cars just has bad TPSs on them, I don't know. Yeah, that's the funnest part about that is trying to get those plugs to come out. <laughs> I always have to use a little flathead. <laughs> Try to start it. What do you mean? Well, without putting a tune on it. <laughs> Set it for H series turbo for like 800 horsepower. Sure, it'll start just fine. Plug me in. Oh, we can't see none of the lights on it because all your fancy little covers. Okay, upgrade firmware. You see how this guy's TPS loss was? Mm -hmm. At minimum, he was at one, and at uh, wide open throttle, at 108.9. Read. Fucking 60. See, that's a problem, dude. All the way down, read. It's giving me 60% on the TPS. Now, all the way up, read. Negative 5. Probably TPS, bro. Why is it doing that, though? But the throttle body is going wide open. Alright, I'm gonna start it on the 8. You said 800 horsepower H22 bro. tune? Stop. It's just gonna be rich, if anything. It's at idle. What do you think, I'm gonna press the button, it's gonna blow the engine up? <laughs> oh, it don't even have the right injectors. Well, they ain't right. <laughs> I have 1,000 cc. Oh, I'm gonna shut all this shit back off. Well, I am definitely no tuner. I'm gonna go put my laptop away. This thing for me is for editing, not for tuning. Yeah, I, I've got the car where it doesn't even want to start anymore. <laughs> so, oh man, we can at least do a compression test on it. So that's what I'm gonna do next is a compression test. It just pisses me off, dude. Like, this is what Khaki does every single time. I pull it out and, dude, I shit you not, like it drove perfect. I went down the street and it opened up. It's like, if I had to mimic it, it's like this. It went You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's why I'm like, well, maybe it's a TPS. Because then it started acting up whenever Braven jumped in. And I tried to go down the street right here. And it's just The whole freaking time. And I'm like, maybe it's TPS. Maybe it just doesn't know where the throttle is at, you know? But it's like intermittent. It's like, it, it, it'll run good for a moment and then it doesn't. And it does that every single time that I mess with this freaking thing. But anyhow, um, Curly said he's gonna stop by later and just kind of go over the tune. Well, I, I completely freaking screwed it all up right now. <laughs> I put a stock ITR base map and it doesn't want to even start. And I, I put a thousand CC injectors. I'm setting the dead times or whatever for the injectors for the, uh, I, well I tried Dishworks a thousand CC. It has that inside of the Honda, And then I tried injector dynamics a thousand CC as far as dead times. Like I, Dude, I don't know anything about that shit, bro. I have a thousand cc blocks racing, a thousand cc injectors. Um, they they're based. They have a Bosch core. Like it's a decent injector. I mean, yes, it's a budget injector. It's, they were very cheap, but I don't know the dead times on it. And inside of the Honda, it doesn't have that as an option. The the blocks racing thousand cc injectors, because you know. It's not a common injector people use, I guess. But I tried the Type R and I put, I went from like 8% to about 15% just messing with it, adding to the overall fuel trim because it is on E85 to see if it made any difference and that didn't work. And then I tried a stock GSR base map that they have in there. I put that in with the 1000 CC injectors. I used injector dynamics dead times on that one and I did the fuel trim. Uh, I went up 12% on the overall fuel trim trim and then it would fire up and it would kind of idle but if you touch the throttle it just goes like holding the throttle it does that it's freaking weird i don't know
compression test time my friend compression test time i'm not looking forward to this because i fear the numbers will not be impressive i think they are going to be very inimpressive unimpressive well whatever the f the word is all righty here we go braven could you be so kind as to help me with a compression test really quick sure buddy please good sir you know we need to use our fancy light because i never get to use my fancy light carbon fiber friendly Like 210. Show the camera. Alright. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Fire in the hole. 225. Show the camera. Yep. Alright, next. Two twenty five. Two twenty five. Shut up. No BS, bro. We'll redo the first one. I'd say still around like two ten. So. That one's down a little bit, but I mean, overall, it's pretty freaking healthy. Pretty freaking healthy, yeah, that's pretty good. I would assume that it's perfectly fine. It's a lot better than what I was expecting, to be honest with you. Yeah. No, I, I honestly was expecting it to be like 120, 80, 10, 215. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what I was expecting, bro. I was expecting the worst, I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was expecting some wonky numbers like that too, to be honest. But. All right, well, the compression test shows good. Um, I mean, is there even a point to do a leak down whenever your compression test is good? I feel like a leak down is to figure out why a compression test is bad, right? I don't know. I, I don't have too, many, too much experience doing leak down tests. I mean, I have one. I mean, you try it. No, I'm not doing it right now. I'm not, I don't feel like dealing with my compressor right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being honest. <sighs> Freaking khaki, dude. I don't understand this thing. So, if if anybody has any ideas at all, um, Curly might be coming over later tonight. I don't know, dude. At this point, I feel like, like, what do I do? Just, like, put a new map sensor, a new TPS sensor. Freaking just start replacing stuff, just throwing parts at it. <laughs> Maybe the ECU. I I wouldn't count the ECU out. Honestly, I think the ECU has gotten wet a couple of times because, um, as you guys know, I've deleted everything out of this car. And underneath the cowl, there's still, like, those holes that go into uh, the interior of the car. Um, and it has gotten wet in there a few times. The water doesn't actually get inside of the ECU though. Like it runs down the back. I don't know. It's just a thought that's been in my head that maybe the ECU got wet. I mean, we tried we tried Braven's ECU, but that ECU is set up for coil on plug. And I don't know if there's something inside of it that needs to be switched in order to, I, I couldn't get my car to start on his ECU. So again, I don't know all the Honda shit, so maybe whenever Curly comes, that's something that he could test as well. If we're having problems with mine, let me know if you guys have any suggestions what it is you think it could be. But I do want to get cracking on Khaki. I want to get Khaki up and running. Believe me, I miss driving this car too. And I want to get this thing back out in these streets, dude. I ain't going to lie. And back out the track. I just want to get it running good. I want to figure out what's wrong with it right now. But even once I do that, then I want to rip the transmission out and have it gone through. So, oh, oh, it's, oh, dude, he's all messed up. He's all messed up, bro. Oh! <laughs> Chill out. Oh. oh my god. Bro, look at that spider web. What? Oh that, hit god. that too, bro. That. Oh, yeah, that's gone. Dude, the whole spider web is gone. Oh my. Dude, that bug needs to chill out. <laughs> Damn, he's going. Oh, he's right there. Down he goes. He gone. This motherfucker. <laughs> oh, there was two of them. Up. You got two. He's trying to kill us, bro. There's so many bugs. <laughs> this man's crazy. Bro, he's still you tweaking. Bugs are dropping? He's still tweaking. Bro, he's gonna leave a trail. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> You're crazy, bro. Dude, leave the damn bug alone. He's dead already. Welcome to summertime. Oh my god, bro, that's so bad. Hey, chill out, chill out. What are you doing? There's a lot less bugs. There is a lot less bugs, dude. There was a crazy amount of bugs out here. Bro, the amount of heat that thing puts off. I know, it's crazy. I feel like I'm getting a sunburn out here. <laughs> The doctor has arrived. Now Braven wants to show me something in here. What am I doing? Just turn the emission on and look at the gauges. Oh, over there? Yeah. We just have them mounted up temporarily for now? Yeah. Where's the key? It's in the driver, in the passenger seat. What I? Oh. Bam! Look at this guy! Pimping over here! Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I left your ignition on. I did. It's only dead. It's only dead. <laughs> uh, dead batteries. Dead batteries. Dead batteries. Oh, dude, I should make a dead battery shirt. I can't make this up, dude. The battery on the camera died right when I said that. But, you know. Go ahead. And that one is out of the way. So, could that be like. He's like. Final last connection. Oh yeah. That yeah, didn't do that to us. And that, was... and that thing was like hard mounted in there, right? I don't remember. Did I have like rubber in behind it or is it just hard mounted? So that's like getting all the vibration, huh? Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure this it's hard mounted. This will need to get changed for sure. Like if you look at them, they're already leaking, bro. Um, we have another ECU, maybe we could try to see if um do we have an RP28? They're, they're leaking? Mm -hmm. They're like little batteries, bro. So they leak acid and they start seeding the board itself, too. I have the uh -huh. old ECU from Creamy, but it's it's right. just a chipped ECU. It's not a Honda at all. Yeah. I don't know if you're able to like convert it to it. Well, yeah, but he yeah. It's convertible. You put the chipped one in there. Just test the chip. I mean, I could grab it. No, it'd be temporary. It'd be uh, to figure out whether or not it is for sure the ECU. Ugh, I might need a new uh, P28. I might. Actually, Curly might be able to fix this one. He's he's a mad scientist like that, bro. He could, like, take these little mobobbers out and re-solder them in there. Mobobbers. Yeah, mobobbers. Those are those are mobobbers, and these are mobobbies. Or <laughs> I don't freaking know. I don't know. I just paint shit, bro, and freaking... In hell fumes, you know what I'm saying? That's what I do with my life. We didn't really find what was wrong with it. Potentially a wiring problem or potentially the distributor. Curly is leaning towards the distributor because it just seems like it's not burning or sending spark correctly. I don't know. We're going to continue messing with it another day. Um, I have warranty on that distributor, so I'm going to go down and warranty it. So I just went running around to like three different O'Reilly's um, and ended up finding a damn warranty distributor. So my distributor I, I bought at O'Reilly's originally back in 2019, bro. I've warrantied it twice, and that's whenever we started having these problems. So this is the third time warrantying this thing out. Um, hopefully it works this time. Curly's under, Curly feels pretty certain that it's either a wiring issue or something inside of the distributor. So, I don't know. If this doesn't fix it, then I, I guess we're just gonna have to dive into the wiring, man, because the fuel injectors we've had tested. I put new spark plugs. I am now changing the distributor for the third time. You guys already know I've been over the whole fuel system. I've done multiple fuel pumps and I got the fuel pump that dude that's good we've checked grounds we've checked all that stuff we eliminated the possibility of it being a voltage problem i've put a multimeter on there we're getting 14 volts we have troubleshooted the living shit out of this thing compression test is good well, here we go man is this gonna solve our problem so we can go fill up a damn nitrous bottle and go out this weekend or not
Alrighty, fire in the hole. Oh, keep looking, the distributor in. <laughs> gotcha. That'd probably help. Yeah, that'd probably help. Well, now the battery's dead. You, I'm going to bed. All right, it's been a long night, man. I'm gonna let this thing charge overnight and we'll mess with this in the morning. Good night, dudes. Good night, puppers. Good night, Toby. Good night, Toby. Love you. <laughs> Good night there, Brevin. Good night.